Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome back to the bridge. Uh, unfortunately, I just recorded this episode, but for some reason, my Audacity file, um, my sound file didn't uh, file didn't work at all. So I'm going to now play through the first uh, levels that I've just played again. You can see that's why they're unlocked, and we will uh, go into the vortex again, and sh I'll show you what we did um, and get through these again, so we can actually see them. So this was part uh, episode two, chapter two, part one, the vortex. It's uh, introduced this new little uh, mechanic in the game, this little swirly, uh, swirly thing here. Now, now that I know what I'm doing, hopefully, I say hopefully, I won't uh, cock it up quite so badly. Um, and then we can uh, get it working a bit easier than we did before. So what I did last time was I worked out that if we drop key into the vortex and then spin the world upside down oh no hang on what was it, what was it? bloody hell how did I do it I can't remember I did the sodding thing now look touching the key open the vortex touch the key open the open the lock did, how did I get out of the vortex again that didn't that wasn't it was it right let's start again bloody Nora even though I've done this once I still can't remember how to do it we don't the key in the vortex. Let's walk him up out the way a bit. Well, that was kind of kind of what I wanted to do. I think that's how I did it last time, but it's trying to turn turn the world back before he falls into the vortex. That's the issue. As you can see, it's a bit of an issue. I think that's what I did. I walked back a little bit then tipped the world over there we go right then we could just oh look, I'm getting pulled into the vortex even though that's lovely the vortex is quite a strong field as you can see right let's just walk back a bit which gets away from the vortex that's how I did it then I could drop the key down on my head and finish the level awesome right sorry for that uh, that was a bit of a pain in the ass wasn't it right chapter two part two the precipice Believe it or not, I did this one a bit easier last time. I did the first one. So. How did I do it? Remember now, I walked into the thing, and then the precipice itself, the, uh, the vortex itself ends. You drop down, get the key, and then you can do the same thing again. When it finishes, you drop down again and you just keep walking. It's just showing you that the actual oh crap! It's just showing you that the actual uh, mechanic of the vortex changes per level. Come on, drop me down. There we go. That's a bit easier. Right, chapter two, part three: the lion. See what this one has to offer. Ah, yes, our friend the wall. So, what you need to do on this one, as I found out after quite a bit of trial and error, or was not do that, was to get the ball. So, we've got to firstly turn off the uh, actual vortex by using this button, which releases the ball. Then, if we swing the world around so that I fall into the vortex the ball can go all the way around and hits the button she turns switches off the vortex and then we need to keep the ball on we need to keep the ball on the vortex uh, the, the ball on the uh, button so by walking along there sets us free and we can then open the door brilliant part five the pillars okay 
so this one took me forever. I finally got it. It was very simple in the end. So we've got to use the key to open the door, same as all the other levels, but with the vortex included it makes life a little a bit more difficult. And what we had to do was just walk round until the key fell falls into the vortex. So we do that and then uh, that's it, and then go this way. Which takes the key into the vortex. There we go. And if we walk all the way all the way around and go to the button by sliding down this pillar. Press the button. Should we get on the button? Press the button. The key drops. Down. Press that. Unlock the door. And then we can make our way around. Which takes a bit of time. Probably going the other way would have been a quicker way around, but there we are, we're here. And we're there. Right, the mausoleum. I haven't done this one. So, let's... Uh, Let's do this one now. In fact, yeah, let's do this one now. This is part five. Oh, look, we've got the ball, we've got the button, we've got a vortex, and we've got us. Where are we coming in? Next to the ball. Bloody hell. Okay. So we need to try and get the ball into, I guess, into the vortex. Switching off. Aha, uh -huh, okay, right. We need to get the ball in the vortex, don't we? Not the button. Okay. Well, that ain't going to help us much, is it? But maybe we have to walk around. First. We can drop down there. We can, okay. I don't quite know how this is going to help us because the ball's stuck in the vortex, isn't it? Yeah, that ain't going to help us in any way, is it? No. Okay, let's go back on that one. All the way back. Can we somehow avoid the ball? So no is the answer. There's a way of making that ball work. Hmm. No, let's go back to the start on this one, I think. Might be the best way around it, I think. Just rewind all the way to the beginning. Okay, right, let's have a look at this. Um, we need to get the ball. I'm sure we need to get the ball into the middle, don't we? Maybe no, maybe not into the middle, maybe into... Maybe into down the sides first. Yeah, that'll be it. So then the ball doesn't get caught by the vortex, but we do. Maybe that's what it is. Right, if I then go... That's not going to work, is it? No, we don't do that, because that's going to bring the ball back. Go the other way, haven't I? Okay. Yeah, that's it. That'll switch off the vortex. I can then drop down 
here. Let's just control the speed of this slightly. There we go. And I will then drop into the vortex. Then we need to get the ball back around the maze at the start. Spin it around in a horribly sick inducing rotation, back around that way, as soon as it hits the button, the door should open, there we go, awesome, and we are there. Part 6, the memorial, right guys, I'm going to leave that there, I think what I'm going to do for the next the next videos, in, or, the, or the subsequent videos in this, in this game, is to do one level per video, that way, if you guys get stuck um, on any um, on any levels, I'll name each one by the name of the actual um, sort of puzzle itself. So the next video will be the memorial. Um, that way you can do a search for the name on YouTube or look on my channel on the playthrough. And you'll better find the one you want. So for now, guys, I think that's the way I'll, I'll head forward on it. Um, but yeah, so uh, look part out for video three, the memorial soon, and I will see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.